Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Porter with Visit Winona, Ed Hoffman's running the camera, and yes, we are doing our second Facebook Live this week um, because yesterday we were at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum's Mississippi Sipping. It's a Tuesday night. This is a Wednesday night, uh, and we are at the Municipal Winona Municipal Band Concert down at Lake Park. Um, we did both for two reasons. One, they were separated by three votes, so we thought it's really nice weather out and we should get that Mississippi sipping in there if we can um, and plus you know we wanted to have a beer let's be honest um, and also because they had forecasted rain for today and uh, it was looking like there was a pretty good chance that it was not going to be good weather and so when it's not good weather then this concert doesn't happen however the weather could not be more perfect it is about 81 degrees the sun is setting over there and there is not a cloud in the sky well okay there's a, a few clouds over there but they're not raining on anybody uh, around us anyway so we're starting a little bit away from the concert because the concert is just firing up there's a lot of people sitting around and if you have never been to one of these concerts Oh, it's it is one of the best free things you can do in Winona you can bring a little picnic you can sit on the benches you can sit on the grass and uh, and listen to Winona's municipal band sorry there's, there's a couple gnats out here right now you can listen to the municipal band play uh, I think that they play for about an hour an hour and 15 minutes and they're really good it's beautiful classical music they play with some like rousing they started with um, uh, the national anthem and so everyone stood and and uh, and celebrated, you know, our great country with that start. And now they're just going into some really pretty classical music. But we started back here, a little ways away from it, so I could talk to you and not be disruptive. And also because um, we're in the Veterans Memorial Park part of Lake Park, and it's right next to the band shell. Um, and we thought you should have just a stroll through this part too, because it's beautiful and there are monuments here that are so special in fact there were just a couple of women um, we were trying to stay out of their way for a few minutes walking along here Ed show them the bricks there's all these dedicated bricks in the ground so people are this particular monument is for World War II uh, I'm looking at commemorative bricks for all these different people who are loved by people in Winona so they have purchased a paver and had it put in here but in this in this uh, memorial park this veterans memorial park there are uh, monuments to every war that Winonans have participated in and so that goes all the way back to the Civil War actually I did um, at one point in time I wrote a story about um, in Woodlawn Cemetery, there are Civil War graves there. Um, a, a Civil War soldier whose name I don't remember was on the, if you've never been to it, a really fun thing to do in the fall is the um, Winona County History Center does the, um, um, oh, it's a cemetery walk. And so they get actors to portray different people or different families, different figures and characters from Winona's history that are buried at Woodlawn Cemetery. And if you haven't seen, I know we're way off this topic right now, but stay with me for a second. If you have not seen Woodlawn Cemetery in the fall, holy cow, it is fantastically beautiful. I mean, it's full of oak trees and it's brilliant yellow and the sun shines through it. And sometimes you get a little mist in the morning. So you get those kind of rays coming through really beautiful but also really really interesting you can go in there and just meander the paths so they do this cemetery walk every fall i think it's i think it's the second weekend in october and they get some local actors to portray these different characters and so anyway that's why i know that there are civil war graves in uh, woodland because i took some photos of a young man portraying a soldier who's buried there anyway um in this beautiful little uh, veterans memorial you can find pavers for every war that people have dedicated to people who were their loved ones uh, who perished it's very nostalgic it's very soulful it's really it's really sweet 
and um, if you are ever going to come to Lake Park, you should spend 10 minutes and walk through this um, Veterans Memorial because I think that uh, it's exquisitely done. The monuments, each monument is different, and each one is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Another fun fact, when I first moved to Winona a million years ago, uh, there, had been, there had been a court case where some youth had too much free time on their hands and, and you know issues, I guess. And so they had come in here and destroyed some of the monuments. They had kicked them over or damaged them or graffitied them in some fashion. So Judge Shaleen um, made national news because he did the first restorative justice program. And those, those kids who got caught somehow, I don't know how, they got caught and he sentenced them to have to come here refix the monuments and then they had to volunteer with veterans groups they had to work side by side with them and it was so sensationally successful because these these boys had you know a, an entirely different appreciation for the people whose lives were lost and the people who remembered those people these old veterans that they had to then volunteer with their organization anyway fun fact about Winona that was in I think that was in kind of the earlier middle 1990s, but we were famous for that for a little while. It was the very first restorative justice case of its kind in the country. So, uh, Judge Dennis Shaleen, good for him. He wrote a book. He wrote a book about it later. Um, so anyway, all right, back to what we're talking about here: the municipal band. Winona has had a municipal band since 1915. Uh, that is more or less right about the time that this park actually started to become a park. They had been filling it in, it was really a swamp. In the, in the you know, earliest part, we've got over here um, East Lake Winona, which about a million years ago was the main channel of the Mississippi River, if you didn't know that. Um, and then sediment and some kind of man-made um, fill in, filled in these lakes, and uh, now the Mississippi River is over there, and we have these fantastic lakes that we play on all year round, actually. Um, so the band shell came later. The municipal band was first, so they were playing in 1915. This park was just being built. They were just starting to um, create like some little shelters and things like that down here. They were filling in a lot of um, the swamp area. They were starting to build like some trails and walking paths. It was very rustic. So in 1915, the municipal band was playing other places. They were playing at Levy Park. Uh, I looked at a list before um, before we started, and and so just basically other parks around town, um, other locations, nowhere near here because this was not habitable. So. 1915 they started really trying to build up this park and they decided that they would have a band shell so this band shell was it was something that was being planned for a really long time and I mean like eight years or something like that that they were trying to get the funding but remember this was swamp and so it wasn't really easy to build in 1923 they built the band shell they had to drive 40 foot pylons into the ground to support the band shell because walk up a little closer it's massive it's so beautiful you guys this is I think one of our true architectural gems in town how many cities this size have a band shell this historic and this perfect and this beautiful I don't think there's very many so this band shell a couple little details about it uh, it's the base of it is like 40 two or 45 feet wide it's about 32 feet tall it's 24 feet deep you can rent it I found out also for a, um, for a full day it's $185 to rent this whole space if you want to ha come have your family reunion here wouldn't that be great um, also for a half a day it's just over a hundred bucks and you can have the band shell um, for you know either like 4 to 10 p.m. or 8 to 4 p.m. or something like that so uh, so they, they, you know, tried to make this something that everyone can enjoy, not just on Wednesday nights when this band is performing, but um, whenever you need to, you can come and rent this space. So I'll talk a little bit more right here before we walk up because these people are trying to enjoy the band. Here, I'll come a little bit closer. So 
Um, so this band performs all summer long on Wednesday nights. It's made up of community members that are just musicians. And um, I don't know what the trial process is, but I can tell you that the, it's very high quality music. And on a night like tonight where it's 80 degrees, there's a little breeze, the sun is setting, bugs aren't too bad, the place is packed. I see cars going all the way up the road that way, all the way back down the road that way and the same on this side. On the back side of the band shell, there's a really big playground. Um, they're redoing the playground, and so I saw some of the equipment was taken down, and I'm assuming that there must be some new equipment that's coming in there for kids. And uh, there's some porta potties, there's drinking fountains here, and um, just, just over there is Lake Lodge, where if you come during the day, you can rent uh, for a membership fee of $20 for a year, or a one day pass of $10, you can rent any of the equipment that they have. They have like double bicycles, um, canoes and kayaks, and stand up paddle boards. They have hammocks that you can get from them. Um, all for that membership fee, you just pay that one time and for a year you can use anything that they have for free. So they have lawn games, they have like frisbee golf games and everything, whatever you want. So what a blessing for us to have a park like this, right? And what, uh, what a cherry on top of that blessing to have a band of this quality that performs here every Wednesday during the summer. We don't perform when the weather's bad, obviously, because it's outdoors. But uh, the rest of the summer, I think the last one is going to be in the middle of August. So we're kind of close, but if you're going to be in town mm, next week, you could still catch this. And uh, I think you should. And if you're coming next summer, They'll be kicked off all summer long. I think that they start in June, um, maybe the very end of May. I'm not certain about the start date, but they do have a nice website. Um, the city has a nice website about the municipal band also. And so you can find out more information there. Um, so hang on a second. I don't know what they're doing. Like they're just kind of in between songs right now. So we're, so we're going to sneak up well, the parking lot a little bit. We're going to get a little bit closer. I'm going to stop talking, and Ed's just going to let you see the band for a uh, couple minutes, okay? Tonight's but I'm not going to talk right now because people are trying to listen. Okay. The life and career of Rimsky Korsbach are generally known. It may not be appreciated that his first professional music position was his bandmaster, or specifically inspector of music bands for the Russian Navy. In his memoirs, The Musical Life of Rimsky Korsakov, speaks at some length about this position and its significance in his career. Okay. Extensive I'm not gonna say anything else, but I'm just gonna stop here and then I'll show you the rest of it. Well, it's a great view, the sun is bouncing off the clouds behind, solo. they're turning pink, it it's beautiful. That may have a part of your armed forces as well. They're not all a part of the armed forces, but normally leading our clarinet section is Dr. Frank Burris. Many of you know him from his time practicing here in town. <laughs> Aside from being here in Winona, he's been a part of the Des Moines Orchestra, played in Cedar Rapids, and of course, the West Point Band. So, I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Burris to say a little about this piece. First thing I want to say, and I think I'm saying this as a representative of the band, is a big thank you to director Levi Lundek for the incredible effort. <laughs> we have no idea what it takes to put a concert together week after week for 10 weeks. It's in the, um, I'll tell you, the uh, librarian too. Yep. We have to sort all this music back out when we get done. So. Okay, and so they're talking, not playing music right now, so I'm just going to tell you a couple things real quick. Every week we go wherever he tells us to go, and this week uh, we went to two places because the boat was so close, we weren't sure about the weather, so we're here, 
went on a municipal band concert at the historic band shell. Next week we'll be somewhere else. You tell us where we should go. We're going to put a poll up uh, with nominations on Monday and then... Hmm. Oh, it's going up tomorrow. Ed's shaking his head at me. No, the poll's going to go up tomorrow. Okay, the poll's going up tomorrow. And um, then you're going to be able to vote. Tell us which place you want us to go to. And that's where we're going to go. So far, we've been everywhere in Winona and, and the area knows. around Winona. And uh, there's a lot left to see. I know, you know our list of the places that we have had nominated and that we know of is really long. But we want to know where do you want us to go. Tell us. That's where we're going to go. Uh, I think they're going to start playing again, so I'm done. See you next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs>